Hi, how are you doing? I'm Matt, and welcome back to Supercar Models, my channel. I'm working on the R34 GTR build today. Last week, what I did was I ended up making a whole bunch of kind of little tweaks and adjustments and changes to this internal structure work in preparation for some of the external body work and body panels. Now I'm really, really keen to get started on designing these outer body panels. I think what I'll start with is maybe the roof panel, so a piece that goes right over the top of the roof like this. So yeah, I'll open up my Illustrator plans file, start drawing up that piece, maybe do like a test cut or two out of paper and get like the fit of it just right, and then I can cut it out of cardboard and shape it and fit it after that. So let's get started. Nice, so after a few attempts, those are the first few versions there. Attempt number four looks pretty darn good. Yep, the fit is nice. It's fitting the build really, really good. The only thing is this front top edge, where the top of the windscreen will be, just looks too curved. Like, even though I've perfectly followed the reference image in my Illustrator file, like that's the exact curve that it has in the guide image. It just looks, yeah, when I look at photos of the real car, it looks much, much straighter than that in real life. So yeah, I'm not quite sure what's going on there. I think maybe I'll do like a test cut now out of cardboard because it might just kind of depend on how I've curved and contoured and bent that part. So yeah, I'll do a test out of cardboard and we'll see how we go from there. Alright, so I've cut that out of 1000 GSM black cardboard and rolled it, given it some curvature to make it fit the, the profile of the top of the roof and that's all looking really, really good. The fit's really nice. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to change and tweak the profile of that leading edge of the windscreen. Eh? Like, it just doesn't look right at all. It needs to be a bit straighter. I think, I think this is a good demonstration of the limitations of cardboard. Basically, the roof of a real GTR it has like a compound curve to it, right? So it curves this way and it curves that way at the same time. Um, but I can't do that with cardboard. It's just one of the limitations that I have to work with. Basically, I can only bend it in one direction at a time. So yeah, that's okay. I'll try straightening out that leading edge so it's not quite so curved and um, we'll see if that looks any better. Okay, so I made some adjustments to this piece and I've cut this new version. Uh, this leading edge here is just kind of a bit straighter, it's not quite as curved as it was before. And also I add these little tabs, like one at the front, one at the back on each side. And hopefully what that means is it'll sort of provide like a positioning guide. They'll just slot down between the little cross brace pieces like that. And yeah, that's looking way better. Nice. Nice, so that's looking pretty good for now. I also found that I was able to bend this leading edge kind of like that, like bend it that way slightly. So that really helps its kind of profile and makes it look a bit more like the real car as well. Yeah, so I'm happy with that fit for now. So this is actually not the final outer body panel. 
there'll be one more layer over the top, which will be the body color piece. So this is kind of like the sub outer body panel layer. All right, it's a new day. And I think what I want to do now is get stuck into this door or like side part of the car. And um, as I mentioned in the last video, I think the first thing to do for that is to create a series of these little pieces, which will fit into the slots down the side of the car here. And what they will do is give me a surface to attach kind of the door panel to. So yeah, let's get started on that. All right, good, so there's the first cut of those door panel parts. Let's fit them and see how they look. Nice, so they look good. Yep, happy with those. Next, I think I'll make a little strip of cardboard that goes over the top of these two here. And um, as I mentioned in the previous video, that will make kind of like a common surface to join the rear edge of the door panel that will go here and the, the leading edge of the two kind of like water panel parts that will go on here. So I'll make that strip now and probably glue that on. So there's that piece there. It's just a simple strip of cardboard and I've kind of bent it to just the right profile so that it should fit onto there pretty much perfectly like that. Cool. So I'll glue that one onto there with PVA glue now.
All right, good. So now I think I'll actually start designing the outer door panel. Cool, well, there we go, that's the first version of that part drawn up. Uh, there are some parts of it, like along the top of the door. I, I kind of know how I want it to work. I can kind of visualize it, but I can't quite work out from the, the kind of the guide image in my plans file exactly how it's going to look and to get the exact proportions of that right. So I think what I'll do is I'll print it out on paper, do a test fit on the model just with paper to start with, and I can work out some of the details and the exact kind of specifics of some of those parts directly on the model. So I'll print it out, hold it up to the model and we'll see how it looks. All right, so the shape's pretty good. It's not too bad, but I can see right off the bat, the one issue is it's not tall enough like this way. Because basically what I want it to do is connect into the tabs at the bottom, follow the form of these kind of side former pieces, wrap all the way over, and then we'll wrap over the top like this and have a tab that glues to the inside of this instructional piece here. And it's just not quite long enough to do that. So jump to my plans file, make this a bit longer through here and print out a new version and cut that out and refit that. See how we go. All right, here's the next version and it's looking a lot better. Fitment is starting to get to where I want it to be. There's still some adjustments that need to be made, especially in this area here. You can see that crease means that the um, the, the kind of the medium is not really doing what I want it to do in the, for the particular contours in that area. So I think what I'll do though is I'll need to make a few more adjustments and then do a cut, do the first cut of this out of card because card will also behave uh, differently to the paper, of course, because they're different thicknesses. So um, yeah, make some adjustments, do a first cut out of card, get that shaped up, do a little bit of folding, and um, yeah, we'll see how that looks. All right, so here we go. This is the next version. This is version three. And as you can see, I've already cut this out of card. I'm actually using 600 GSM card, which is a bit thinner than the 1000 GSM card that I thought that I was going to use, just because I think it'll be easier to bend into the shape that I need it to, to bend into. But I've got quite a big problem. Um, and that is that I bought A3 size sheets of this card. And this piece fits onto a three sheet in that orientation, landscape orientation, just, just right, which is fine, it fits. But because the board has like its natural kind of, it naturally wants to bend that way, but not that way, um, because of the way the board's manufactured, like because of the way all the fibers are lying, which is basically that way, that means that it wants to bend easily lengthways, but not widthways. 
And so because I've cut this piece out kind of against the, the way that it naturally wants to bend, when I go to bend this part this way, it doesn't really want to bend particularly nicely. And if, I don't know if you can see, but like, it doesn't make a nice smooth curve. It just, it kind of goes all like crinkly and bumpy and, and rough looking, which is, which is no good. I've ordered larger like A2 sheets, which is basically double the size, um, which means that I'll be able to cut this out in the correct orientation and bend it up a lot smoother and it'll look so much nicer. But I don't know how long it'll take to, to come in. Might be like days away, so I don't know if I'll have time to um, kind of finish cutting out this part and finishing this part before I need to upload this video. So that might have, have to be finished off next week. Yeah, so not ideal, but in the meantime, I think what I might do is actually make a start kind of on this rear quarter area. So drawing up the kind of the, the former structural parts that will fit into these slots to kind of create the shape for that rear three quarter panel. So I'll get into Illustrator and start drawing up parts for that now. Okay, good. So I drew up these quarter panel structure parts, uh, cut them out of foam board, and yeah, now it's time to fit them onto the car and see how they look. The key thing here is just to make sure I get the right piece in the right slot. So what I did was I've just gone through and labeled each slot, and all I need to do is match up the right piece to the right slot. So yeah, should be pretty easy. Let's do it. Awesome, so they look really, really good. It's almost perfect, except for just this one here is not quite right. You can see how it's kind of like, there's a bit of a gap there. It's just, yeah, I just need to adjust the profile of that front edge of that one, so it's kind of in a little bit closer. But otherwise, all the rest are good. Yeah, so I'll just change, I'll adjust that one, recut it and swap it out off camera. You don't really need to see me do that. But then after that, I'll start drawing up and do a test fit of kind of the outer panel that will join over the top of this. There'll be like a wheel arch in there. And um, yeah, and that will form kind of the outer, the outer body layer of that rear quarter panel. So let's start doing that now. OK, 
Okay, so I've just taped a quick paper mock-up in place for that part, and I think it looks really good. I think the shape is good. Um, you know, everything, like the fit and stuff is really, really good. But um, I guess what I'm struggling with now is just trying to work through like ideas or a way to kind of um, like accurately position it in place. I've kind of just eyed it up and just temporarily kind of stuck it there with a few little bits of tape. But for the actual build, when that part is cut out of cardboard, I'll need to know like exactly where to place it so that there's kind of no room for error or, you know, it can't be incorrectly positioned in any way or it can't move around and yeah, so I don't know, I just have to think of a way that I can accurately position that in place, as I say. Hmm. To give it some thought. All right, so I'm looking at this the next day with fresh eyes and it kind of looked to me that this was kind of sticking out a little bit too far, like I made it a bit too wide. And um, I've checked my measurements against, against my plans and sure enough, I've made this kind of extend out a little bit too far, about like seven, well, exactly seven millimeters too far. So what that means is I need to adjust these um, kind of parts here, just make them a little bit kind of narrower, sort those out in my plans file, I cut a new set of those parts. So I'll do that now. Okay, so I've recut and refit new structural parts of the rear quarter panel, and I've refit my little kind of prototype paper piece over the top, and that's all looking much, much better now. And I've checked my measurements also, so that this kind of width, like the amount that the quarter panel comes out like that, is like spot on now, perfect. So that's awesome. I think the next step is to um, just make a few more tweaks to this um, kind of outer body panel piece, uh, and probably fit that. I'm thinking that what I might do for the front end here is to build in a tab on the front edge of this piece here and cut a slot into this piece so that the tab will fit into the slot here and that will locate and hold the front edge of this piece really nicely. I'm not too sure about the back end of the car. That might have to actually wait until I've actually designed and developed out a little bit more of the back end of the car because, you know, like I might build a, a tab into this end or something. I'm not too sure yet, but for now, I can cut that piece after making those tweaks and get that fitted and um, yeah, then I can move on to the next part after that. Nice, so there's that first quarter panel part all cut out of card and fit it up. And um, yeah, as I mentioned, I put, a, I put a tab on the front edge there that's fitted into a slot that I cut into this piece. So that's like secured and located really, really nicely. The other edges of that part, it just kind of temporarily taped in place until, as I said, I've developed kind of the parts of the back end of the car a bit more. But for now, the fit and everything looks really, really good. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave this one here. I really wanted to get that door panel done and fitted in this video, but I'm gonna to have to wait until my larger car sheets turn up before I can finish that one. But 
we'll definitely get that one finished and fitted in the next video. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, making good progress on kind of the out of body work and I'm um, starting to see the shape of the car come together. So yeah, keep following along and I'll see you in the next one.